initially when the the regulations, the water resource regulations were published, I think in August, the tariffs had been set at uh, five shillings per cubic meter. In the meantime, there were discussions, there, <coughs> there were negotiations, and actually that figure came down a bit. For domestic, it came to almost uh, two shillings. For irrigation, it may come to one shilling, but you'll get the regulations very soon. It's a very challenging uh, activity, and that is why the tariffs which were set way back in 2007, the 50 cents per cubic meter, were not able to raise adequate resources to ensure compliance and also to put in place a proper water resource monitoring network. And that is why during the calculations which were done, when the regulations were being drafted, it was realized that the Water Resource Authority requires almost four billion annually to enforce those conditions, enforce compliance, and also monitor the water resources adequately. Well, if you look at the per capita, uh, it's below what is required. So through the catchment tap, we want to work around that. How do we enhance both water quantity? How do we enhance water quantity and even quality? So these are the things that you want to work uh, with, uh, targeting, that can we uh, enhance our per capita um, well beyond what we have at the moment and within um, you know, the globally allowed limits. Because water is, as I said, is everything. We already do capacity building with Water Resource Authority in the Upper Tana, in two sub-catchments along the Tika River. And we have a long-term partnership with Nairobi City Water to improve the sustainable water supply to uh, Nairobi. And to talk a bit about this link, because where we work with WRA on improving IWRM in these sub-catchments around Tika, that's the area where Nairobi City Water takes the majority of its raw water from to supply water to Kenyans.